throughout civilization. Men have almost always held the exclusive reserve of being rulers. In Africa, it is almost exclusively a man's world, except for a few exceptions, one of which is Dimgep, a community where only women rule. For over 200 years, this community, known as Dimgep, has been ruled by only women. The community in northeast Nigeria lies about 5 kilometers away from the local council headquarters, Ganye, the heartbeat of Chamberland in Adamawa State. Dimgep had flourished as an independent chiefdom until the advent of colonial administration when it was subsumed under Sugu district. The inhabitants of the small village settlement are predominantly agrarian and history has it that they were initially displaced by the constant floods at the Jangavan mountainous community, hence found Dimgep a more habitable settlement. Since 1792, when the first woman ascended the throne and reigned for nine years, tradition has bestowed kingship only on women. Although men used to rule Dimgip, such men mysteriously died shortly within three months of ascending the throne. Since then, it has become an exclusive reserve for women, as men no longer lay claim to the throne. Driving along one of the worst roads in Adamawa State to get to the village, visitors have to obtain permission from the district head of Sugu, who usually sends one of his aides with the visitors to facilitate audience with the female ruler through her council members. The ruler occupies the central hut, which is surrounded by few others. There, she sits on a simple chair in a touched porch with a female aide to her left and male courtiers seating on a mat spread before her. Everything around her must be traditional. She eats from a wooden plate and lives in a traditionally built heart. Speaking on their cultural heritage, Muhammad Kambari, who is the Wakili, the chief scribe to the village head, said the current ruler, Nyagangun, Elizabeth, is the 14th to rule successfully after the demise of Nyagangu Bintu, who passed on. In 2016. Namiji. Aji Sarota Namiji Kabawa Machi Yanking Nyagaun Nara de Bu Yanki Ne Namachi Dole 
al adan de muke da na kaka nemu dole shi muke bi muna jin dadi da wannan kuma district head of sugu misa jangowe said before a woman is shortlisted as a contestant for the throne by the king makers she must be above 60 years of age it is expected that at that age the woman must have acquired the necessary experience and be free from sexual relationship even with her husband <laughs> within this clan kuma shimu tumi nan nan miji shine zai dinga zuwa mitin nan ko ganyi ko ina ya koma e fitin ya da information dimgep is perhaps one of the very few communities in africa where tradition is never compromised